Welcome to Fiesta Friday, everybody. I'm Jason Salas, and we have a fantastic show for you. And we are going to lead it off by talking about events dealing with the law. Now, Guam's legal community, as you may or may not know, is very tightly knit, very collegial, and we have two of the leaders of that community. I, I would dare say Chief Justice Robert Torres of the Supreme Court of Guam and Chief Judge Francis Tidenko Gatewood at the District Court, probably the two top lawyers on Guam right now. Half a day, yes. It's a great, great to be here on Fiesta Friday. Mm -hmm. And as we launch our Law Week celebrations, uh, we've actually started some yesterday with the naturalization ceremony and the awarding of the Justicia Award today to former Senator Pilar Lujan. And we've got a slew of activities planned for the next uh, couple of weeks. A very fitting award, to yes. be certain. The, the one thing that I notice, and I've been privileged to interview the both of you about, you know, first it was Law Day, and then we have Law Week, and now we have Law Weeks. <laughs> emphasizing the plurality of it, mm -hmm. is despite, you know, your own accomplishments as practitioners of law and as proud Guamanians and, you know, professionals and of the judicial process here on the island, you're both still so giddy about the Law Week activities and everything like that. You're both, you're both smiling. You're obviously very excited about the industry and everything. So, um, Your Honor, what, would it, what does it mean to you to actually have the legal community on Guam come together like this and participate in these activities? Well, I, you know, it's just really special. And Hafa Day, again, thank you for allowing us to come today. But um, it's just it's special because we get to uh, expose the law, the courtroom, the stakeholders to justice. And, um, you know, part of, our, like, at, at the Federal District Court, we had um, the FBI Citizens Academy the other day, part of Law Week, uh, and so the FBI asked certain members of the community to come in and hear myself, the U.S. Attorney, U.S. Federal Public Defender, Secret Service, and Federal Marshals talk about our jobs. And so they get to get exposed to the District Court and the Federal family. We had uh, Department of Education came in on Sunday to our court, uh, on Sunday, we had uh, all the six public high schools. They're going to help us with a drug court video, a drug video, drug court video, and they're um, analyzing it. And we get to see high school students exposed to that part of the law. I think Justice Torres will, will can speak about the mock trial. He's one of the architects of that, and he's got grandchildren <laughs> who are involved in it, and that makes us excited. Right? That's now. always such a fantastic yeah. activity. Yeah, that's you the know, exciting part. We started with 25 students eight years ago in the mock trial with uh, students from uh, Mercy Heights and uh, Bishop Baumgartner, and we now have over 400 students from 10 different schools with 13 different plays, and that's part of the reason why we had to extend it out for two weeks is because a number of schools have been calling and asking to participate in the process and having them come in and you know see the courtroom participate in a courtroom scene uh, is enlightening and educational for all of them and and uh, you know not only for the children who are involved but also for their parents and and their family and we've got a couple of new pl uh, plays this year luke skywalker's on trial for the murder of five thousand citizens <laughs> by blowing up the death star and um, very timely yeah very timely and, and you're, you're gonna drive all the out. star wars and that's crazy because you know the trailer just came out it did. everybody's gonna be you know pulling their hair out until christmas time when the it, movie drops it did and and woody is also on trial for kidnapping for pushing mm -hmm. buzz light you're out the window and locking the door to andy's room so I love we've it. got some exciting plays that the kids are going to be participating in and and of course we have some uh, you know uh, very besides the plays we've got some other things online we have the, the race judicata, our 5K, under colors of law. We had that run, uh, and I'm sure, um, uh, you know, our chairman of that, uh, Dean Manglonia, will be on sometime probably next week specifically to talk about Absolutely. the run mm -hmm. on, on May 9th. Um, and then today I mentioned the Justicia Award, and I think that's kind of a monumental occasion for us. Uh, a number of the past awardees include, uh, you know, former Justice uh, Richard Benson, uh, Vice Speaker and former Justice uh, B.J. Cruz, Attorney Joaquin Ariola, and today we acknowledge Pilar Lujan, which was, who was instrumental, actually authored the legislation that created the Guam Supreme Court and the Judicial Building Fund, which allowed us to build the facility that we have. So it was a very fitting that we recognized her today. I also think it's really cool how you know you're taking the Star Wars theme, of course, from popular culture and with Toy Story. Yes. And of course, I know how much of a stickler you are for the judicial process. So certainly, you made sure that you got all the intellectual property from for all the Disney properties cleared well, well in advance. Yeah, uh, it's all he's protected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Because that'll, co that'll come into federal court. Yeah, yeah. yeah your, your current role like affords yeah. you that that right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Chief Judge, how do you also secure 
the thriving nature of this uh, or of your business, if I can call it that, you know, for future generations and make sure that, you know, young people get interested in practicing law and, you know, like get high school students excited to want to go to law school? Well, one of the things that um, Chief Judge, uh, Chief Justice uh, Torres and I are work together with our high school mock trial teams. We have the competitions both at the local court and the federal court and, and that gets them excited. We see a lot of uh, those individuals who go on to become law students. That's one way of ensuring that we get students uh, uh, to come back and be lawyers. Another way is like, for example, this summer, I'll have three high school, I mean, I'm sorry, three college interns. They are all interested in coming uh, to intern with us. They, they can't get paid, un unfortunately, with the federal system, they can't mm. get paid. And I'll have a, a, a law student, one law student, she'll be one of my interns, uh, one, another intern. And they'll be there all summer, and they'll have projects. They'll have to do naturalization ceremony projects. Um, they'll have to, you know, t tell me how many how many people have we naturalized? Judge Manabus and I sworn in to become U.S. citizens. They'll have to do uh, certain projects on Department of Corrections. I mean, we, we just have all these different things that they are interested in, and uh, and that we need them to do uh, the the grunt work on. And I think you guys do the same thing, don't you, Bob? Well, we do. I mean, we o we provide opportunities for all, all of our local students when when we can. One other thing I wanted to mention about the Law Week activities, just quickly, I know we might be running out of time, is that the State of the Judiciary address will be on May first, uh, Law Day itself. Uh, next Friday evening at 7 p.m. at the legislature. So it gives us the opportunity to, gives me the opportunity to speak to the people about some of our accomplishments in the past year as well as the projects that we have ongoing uh, for improvement of the administration of justice. And we very much look forward to seeing that and you know, broadcasting that for you. And we'll yes. make sure to put that on Local 2 and GNN on our channel. So thank you both very much. Thank, thank you. you. For everything that All you right. do. Yes. Very thank inspiring. You. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. All right, and stay tuned, everybody, because we will be back. And you know what? We're also going to talk about like what they both said about the Star Wars trial. If the lightsaber will be submitted as Exhibit A, I don't know. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. We're back after this.